Science last words to the person that killed her was, I love you. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of Sonia Massey. The Springfield woman was shot and killed by a Sangamon County Sheriff's deputy earlier this month. They spoke to us directly for the first time today. The WAD's Carly Brockman joins us now on WAD News at 6. Carly, you were in the room with Massey's family today. What was that like? Alyssa and Sean, I mean, the family members are devastated by what happened to their loved one, but they also see a lot of missteps leading up to the death of their cherished family member. Shared memories of a beloved mother, daughter, and sister. Her waking up every morning cooking fried red tomatoes. And I'm like, I'm like that, that is my memory that I'm like, hold with me forever. The family sharing what Massey's loss means for them. That's kind of a Massey thing. We love everybody. So you might have, they probably heard me all over the world tell them, I thank y'all, I love y'all so much. Science last words to the person that killed her was, I love you. That was us. We, we, we still loved very hard, and I'm sure Sonia still felt the same way. Sonia's son sharing that she had traveled to St. Louis to spend time at a mental health facility. While she was supposed to spend 30 days, she was released after just two. I retired out of EMS after 23 years, and I know that when we come up on someone that's troubled, we were called not, on, not law enforcement, but it's a CIT the crisis intervention training, individual will respond. And there was a lot of things at the initial, when he was speaking of her, he, there was a lot of red flags that he should have immediately called someone that can deal with individual with mental illness. Sonia's family believes she was treated poorly because of her race and mental health issues. There was no humanity, no, I mean, there was, terrible things that was said even after the fact as she's laying there on the floor um, that was that's hurtful very hurtful hurtful because the family says she should still be alive Sonia was a, a, a very very peaceful loving person um, and not even that situation but any she wouldn't aggressively you know, call people names or, or she was always just beautiful, loving, caring. Sonia's family says they do believe that they will get justice and justice for them is the deputy who shot her being prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. They also want changes to background checks for officers before they're hired. Carly Bronkema, WAND News.